tonight, a young predator wanted over a shocking child sex attack. Sean Eady reinstated and backed by the company which sent him drugs. And a pickpocket python puts the squeeze on the treasurer. With Ian Ross, this is 7 News. Good evening. Sydney police are searching for a child sex predator who may be just a teenager himself. He's lured away a five-year-old boy in a Chalora shopping centre and authorities have released pictures hoping someone can help stop him. Cyclist Sean Eady is back in our Olympic team, formally nominated today after being cleared of drug trafficking. And the American company which supplied his nutritional supplements has backed Eady's claim that he never ordered anything illegal. Next in 7 News, a recall of popular breakfast cereals. Also, drivers to begin again with new look number plates. And the jokes on the politicians in the US election campaign. You're dumb as a doorknob. Australia's welfare home where 16-year-olds live it up, paid by the government after leaving perfectly good homes. Plus, Telstra's biggest blunder, the truckie you bought an old safe and inside, checks, money worth millions of dollars. On today, tonight. And if you want to watch the entire clip, go to our website and follow the links. Well worth a look, believe me. Sports next with Matt White and a moment of truth for Danny Williams. Yeah, the question is, how many weeks, Roscoe? He should know his fate soon. Coming up, we'll cross live to league headquarters. Also tonight, a decisive move in the tour. And the veterans set for more gold in Athens. Where will you be at 6pm on Saturday, August 14, when Ian Thorpe and Grant Hackett hit the pool for the men's 400 metres freestyle? New world record! The roof is lifting off this stadium! Athens, 24 days to go. And what a way to start the games. Thorpe and Hackett in action on day one. But tonight, all the focus is on the NRL judiciary deciding a penalty on Melbourne's Danny Williams for his king hit on the Tigers' Mark O'Neill. Reporter Jeff Bullock is at league headquarters. Jeff, what can Williams expect? Well, Matt, possibly the longest suspension in the NRL's eight-year history. Now, the hearing's been underway about 20 minutes. It started at six Seven years. And Roscoe, they're the current world champs and they'll be in action also on day one of the games. Big day, day one. Yeah, good luck to them. I reckon they can do it. Wind or no wind. I reckon, I reckon <laughs> they'll get close. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Nola with Sydney's weather is next, but first finance and the market followed the strong lead from the US. BHP Billiton up 1%. The ASX 200 jumped 21 points. The NAB finally ended its five-day losing streak. Origin Energy surged 6% to a record close. The Australian dollar is over 72 and a half. US cents. Tonight, Australia's welfare home outrage where 16 year olds live it up at taxpayers' expense, plus Telstra's biggest blunder selling a safe filled with millions. Good evening. Once we got past the icy morning, it wasn't such a bad day. Mostly sunny, with tops returning to around where they should be for this time of year. And if you thought your place was cold last night, spare a thought for Canberra folk. It was minus seven in the capital this morning. That makes Campbelltown's minus two and Richmond's minus one seem positively balmy. In town, the mercury dropped to six degrees, two below average even for winter. But once the sun was out, it was back up to around 17 degrees, zero to 12 in the mountains. On the charts, this dominant high will reposition itself just off our coast tomorrow, turning winds more southerly and producing more cloud cover and perhaps a coastal shower. Further west, there's some moisture feeding in, producing some rain over Western Australia, which may just reach us by Saturday evening. For tomorrow, though, just some showers in Perth, cloudy but fine in Adelaide, still down to minus four in Canberra tonight, then fine in 12 tomorrow. Back home, mainly slight conditions on our waters with a low one to one and a half metre swell. South to southeasterly winds around 10 to 15 knots. There's another chilly night ahead of us. Down as as minus one in Campbelltown, then more cloud about tomorrow with a chance of a shower or two mainly along our coast, staying dry further inland with long sunny breaks, tops around 17 degrees, sneaking up to 19 in Richmond and Penrith, fine and 12 again in Katoomba. Then it looks like a sunny day of Friday, but the clouds back over the weekend with perhaps some late rain Saturday clearing on a Sunday. Roscoe? A little is better than none. Thanks, Nola, and that's seven news to now. I'm Ian Ross. Thanks for your company. Good night.